Biafran begin alliance to get independence. In a joint press conference with the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, on Friday, April 9, 2021, the leader of the Ambazonia Governing Council said it is an alliance for survival crucial for purpose of self-preservation of two nations. He went further to see that many other countries have collaborated among themselves, including Cameroon and Nigeria, adding that collaboration between Yuande and Asorok does not serve interest to Ambazonia or Biafra. Dr. Ayaba Chu Lucas said the collaboration is defined in three phases, with phase one consisting being a win-win exchange of ideas and togetherness towards a common goal. He adds that he does not know how the people of Biafra will execute their plan, but as for Ambazonians, they have the right to self-defense. We will continue to arm every Ambazonian to make sure that even after independence, there will be no threats. What we should never allow again, Biafrans, Ambazonians, and all people in the continent is to allow people to hijack our state, Dr. Ayaba Chu Lucas said. The leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Mazi Namdekanu, in a remark, said that it is a mission and journey. There is no turning back. It does not matter what the enemy is doing. Any form of brutality against us we are resolved and determined that we prosecute this campaign to an end. We must not make this mistake to think that help is going to come from somewhere else. Thank you for listening to this news. Um, in fact, I am moved by this, uh, by these great reports. It's worth commending. Um, Ambazonians, yes. You people have made a great move. You see, I'm not surprised that they are moving in partnership with the Biafrans. Because even other countries are still urging, are still urging to be a part of the Biafran Republic. You get it? So I am not surprised that this is actually um, coming especially at this very time especially at this very time and that's why i don't even worry when um some some states in nigerian are saying that um, namikano should remove their name from the biafran flag 120 countries are showing support and you are saying that you want to be omitted. Eh, hey, be omitted now. Is this not Ambazonians? In fact, I love the spirit in the Ambazonians. I love the spirit that is burning inside them. I, 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 I can feel it in there. I can see it and I can feel it. And that is how it should be. That's how it should be. I don't think there should be any other way of doing it than how and than the way they are doing it now. In fact, I can see the spirit of the Biafrans flowing inside the Ambazonians. The Ambazonians are intact. They are doing it right. And that is how it should be. You understand? Yes, that's how it should be. So I, I, I commend them with every, with every means and I congratulate them and I and I encourage them to keep on with the move. Keep on with the move because there can never be any other way of agitating for a republic than this way. You know, when Biafrans started, they said that Biafrans are, uh, they say Biafrans are inciting violence. But now you can see the Ambazonians, they are, they are, they, they are now up to, to, to uh, do justice to that as well. You can hear Dr. Ayoba when he said that the time is now. We must not allow anyone to distract us. And that is what Nnamdi Kanu is also saying. That no, 
born, nobody must distract the pursuit for Biafran freedom, and which is true. And as Biafrans, you need to remain absolute. You need to remain focused and no non-distracting. You see, when Nnamdi Kanu is talking, they will see that Nnamdi Kanu is aggressive. Nnamdi Kanu is inciting violence. Nnamdi Kanu is is, is 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 encouraging evil and all that and did that this and that. Now this is Dr. Ayuba. What do you say about Dr. Ayuba? What do you say about him? That is the spirit of an activist. That is the spirit of agitation. You know, when something is paining you, you will not know when you will say what you're not supposed to say. But that is that is the spirit of, of an activist. Burning inside. You know, it's painful when you see yourself experiencing marginalization, when you see yourself experiencing intimidation or see your people being intimidated unnecessarily. Now, listen to Mazen Namdekanu talk when he, was, uh, he, when he was sending a very strong message to the Nigerian, to the Nigerian army through a, his broadcast. You know, it's, if you listen to him talk, he didn't use any bad words. To, well, he didn't use bad words, to, but the way he presented those, those uh, his, his, his speech, you see that um, though he was a little bit aggressive, but he was passing a message. He was on point. He was making them to see reason why the Benways should not be touched. That they should go after their own soldiers. They should go in search of their soldiers and not killing the, 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 the Benways. Do you understand? The soldiers died as a result of the violence in Benue. It's not the Benue people that killed the soldiers. So why are you, you now going after the innocent uh, in citizens? Why uh, going in search of your missing soldiers? Are they the ones keeping your soldiers? Did they kidnap your soldiers? <laughs> Dr. Yuba, I commend you. For this great move and that is how it's supposed to be i give you a congratulative handshake because to me there can never be anything that can be more interesting than what you have just done right now you understand so um so dr ayuba i give you a congratulative handshake on this issue you know there is nothing that can be more interesting than what you have just done right now you understand I know a lot of persons will react, we say all sorts of things, but what you just need to do is to keep moving. That is one thing I love about Unam de Kanu. You know, he doesn't care of the threats that is coming to him. He doesn't care of what the people are saying about him. What he's after is where he is heading to. Where he is heading to. What is uh, what is what going to gain. Where, where, what is going to gain towards where he's heading to? That is one thing I love about him. And that is how it's supposed to be. Sure, sir. In fact, Piafran is making a, is making headway. You can see now, this is the Ambazonians. You can see, this is another partnership that has just been shown. And that is how it's supposed to be. Some other countries are still going to surface. I'm telling you, Nigerian government, <laughs> I know President Mobari is, is going to get confused at the end of the day. So, my viewers, please, your comments concerning all that I've just been said are very, very important. Please, deem it fit to leave them below the comment section. Click on the subscription button as well as the bell button to receive more updates. Thank you.